So, how can we connect this physical to the spiritual? I'm Clifford Andrews and I'm a Shiatsu practitioner and teacher. I want to say thank you to Toa and Naveed and all the organisers, volunteers, presenters and attendees for making the Integrative Health Convention such a great success. So is it possible to tune into different levels of our being and why would we want to do that anyway? Oh, and by the way, what would our world be like if René Descartes had been more in tune with his chakras? So let's explore our perception of the physical, emotional, mental and spiritual levels. Let's find out if modern medicine is normal. Discover what key is and why it's important. And go crazy and reboot Western civilization. Let's list three point practical guide to getting in touch with the levels. And let's dream of a vision of the future of health. OK, so just do this exercise. Let's just close our eyes. Now, can you think of someone who you remember mostly on a spiritual level? Anyone else that you remember mainly on a mental or thought level? Anyone else that you might think of or remember mainly on an emotional level? And then finally, anyone that you remember mainly on a physical level. Now open your eyes. Maybe your four memory images look something like this. OK, so what is key? Well, it's the foundation of traditional Chinese medicine, that's TCM. It's difficult to translate. It does not mean just energy. In the character are images of steam and rice. What this means is it means that body, mind and spirit are fundamentally connected. Now, why is it so difficult to translate? Well, René Descartes was unknown in China, so they had no mind-body split in TCM. It's hard for us to understand that at a fundamental level. TCM is a sophisticated technology that connects and works at all levels. I love my work as a Shiatsu practitioner. I get to work in a clean, clear, quiet room. I have no equipment or tools except my hands and my body. I work on my physical and spiritual practice when I'm treating. I channel 5,000 years of accumulated wisdom and I experience miracles happening every day. Some of them are very small and some of them are bigger. Look what we've done in our community. All we've got is two small rooms and a rented teaching venue. We've had hundreds of students go through our schools over 30 years. We, we have seen hundreds of thousands of treatments by students and therapists being practiced in our community. We've got graduates in hospice care in schools and in GP surgeries. Let me tell you about a typical case. A client comes in with severe pain and blockage in her throat. She has existential angst and joint pain. She was booked in for exploratory throat surgery in hospital the very next week. She came for shiatsu. We focused on the emotional and spiritual levels. The client had an emotional release. Her pain in the throat resolved immediately and she started counselling. No surgery was required. It was, this was a straightforward pattern to treat using shiatsu and TCM. Shiatsu is a sophisticated mind-body-spirit technology. It's got 5,000 years of history and it's a complete system of assessment and treatment. It could potentially save patients unnecessary interventions, surely, and surely it would save the NHS money. What's changed since the 1980s? Well, we didn't know anything about how shiatsu worked, and now almost all our techniques can be understood scientifically. In the 80s there was no research into shiatsu's effectiveness, and now there's a substantial amount of evidence showing that shiatsu is effective. Recently I went to the Welcome Institute at the Science Museum. I looked at 5,000 years of the history of medicine, and I thought, hmm, is Western medicine unusual? Is the way that we think about things unusual? Well, yes, it is, because in the last 5,000 years over the whole world, modern scientific medicine is unique because it doesn't structurally integrate the spiritual into the physical in the healing system, unlike every other world system. Now, of course, doctors do connect on different levels because they're humans, but modern medicine is unique because it doesn't structurally connect it in the system. Now we know that because in the Shiatsu Centre every week we get patients that feel and know their mind, body, spirit symptoms are connected. But they find unfortunately that doctors and consultants often can't explain the connections. It's not the doctor's fault. The technology to explain the mind, body, spirit connections is just not part of the system. Now why can't we do that and who is to blame? Well, it's this guy, René Descartes, widely credited with creating the mind, body, split. 
and laying the foundation to reductive, reductive what? Reductive materialism. I think though, for I am led to the mind-body split. Basically, it means that the body and mind are considered to be made up of matter and to operate like a machine. And they can best be understood by understanding the functioning of ever smaller basic components, the reductive bit. Now, reductive materialism was abandoned in the 1920s in physics because of the quantum revolution. They found out that consciousness is part of the deep fabric of the universe. In the Copenhagen interpretation, some of the smartest scientists got together in 1927 and they all agreed that materialism was dead. But it often still forms our common sense view of the world. But what is human life really like? Reductive materialism gives us a very limited view, the one on the right. And modern medicine is often miraculously effective at fixing the human machine, but we all know that humans are much, much more than machines. Also, a reductive approach has led to specialization. We specialize the spirit with the priest, the mind with the psychiatrist, the emotions with the psychotherapist, and the agony aunts, of course, and the body with physical medicine. Now, is that really a problem? Yes, says Stephen Porges, polyvagal theory, the mind-body split has prevented collaborative research in psychotherapy and neurophysiology. That's a shame. Yes, says Peter Russell, the mind-body split has led to consciousness itself being considered a problematic concept. Yes, says James Oshman, energy medicine, the scientific basis, the mind-body split has led to much research into energy medicine not being recognised and cited, and the researchers being marginalised. Yes, says Pat Ogden, sensor motor psychotherapy, the mind-body split has held back psychotherapy from developing a somatic approach. We think yes, because the biggest health crisis on the planet is a mind-body split problem. Anxiety and depression are the biggest cause of lost days at work, according to the World Health Organization. So what is our mission? We need to travel back to 1637. That's the year he published his book, Get Ready to Tune Into His Chakras, and hopefully reboot Western Civilization. What are the chakras, you may ask? Well, they're a symbolic and metaphoric system linking the physical to the spiritual, so they'll be very useful for our uses here. They're a subjective experience of our nervous system and other mind-body processes. So how are we going to do that? We need a time machine. Can anyone help? Yes, the doctor. How are we all going to get inside? No problem, because it's bigger on the inside than on the outside. So here we go. Set the controls for 1637, the year of the publication of René Descartes' famous book. Here we go, we're going back. We've arrived in 1637, but where is René? Oh, wait a minute, I can hear I can hear a Skype call coming in. Hi, René, are you there? Bonjour, Clive, mesdames et messieurs, comment ça va? Oh dear, we can't, we can't hear, we can't, he's, he's in French, isn't he? Okay, Google Translate. Hey, Cliff. Oh, hi, René, we are from 400 years in the future. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. From the future? Oh, cool. Uh, big year for you, René, love the book, Discourse on Method and Meditations. Oh, good to hear. How are cells holding up 400 years in the future? Yep, good, René. It's probably the most famous book on philosophy in the world ever. Oh, awesome. That is great news. We do have a problem, though, René. The whole I think, therefore I am thing, it's not working out so well. Really sorry about that. In fact, you're widely credited with creating the mind-body split in Western thought and laying the foundations of reductive materialism. This has contributed to a crisis which includes modern medicine and led to existential alienation on a planetary scale. Oh no, what a downer. Is there anything I can do about that? Yes, René, check out these chakras. They are a symbolic and metaphoric system, linking the physical to the spiritual, easy to locate and understand, and they'll give you a subjective experience of our nervous system and other functions. And here they are. Now look, René, dude, you're way too fixated on the think chakra. Just look at that list. Can't you try another one? Uh, I feel therefore I am. That is kind of cool. Mm-hmm. I love the I am. I could get used to that. Hey, great to meet you guys. I see what I can do for you. Thanks for the feedback. Let's just dream. Let's just imagine that René makes some changes and we can reboot our timeline. Let's imagine a less mechanistic, materialist world. What might happen? Maybe yoga and tai chi and qigong could be taught in schools. Maybe personal exploration and practice could become a requirement of medical school. Maybe doctors and healers from all modalities could start to work together. We could all work together to help heal the major crises in planetary health. Integrative health would then just become normal health. And you just watching this video is part of the solution. Thank you for your support of this convention. Oh, and here are my three practical tips. If you're not doing it already, why don't explore some form of integrative method, yoga, tai chi, qigong, Chinese medicine, meditation, focusing on mindfulness. Next time you listen, contact or look at your patient, 
Experience an awareness of how you're connecting. What level or levels is it? And when you treat a patient, why not become aware of the level your treatment's working on? You could check out the new paradigm of health. Well, this polyvagal theory, very interesting, or this TCM that can start to explain connections in the body-mind. So thank you very much for watching this video and you can always contact me at cliff at cliffordandrews.com. Thank you.